Well, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to script ELS in Roblox Studio. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a car. Which today, I'm going to be using this 2020 Ford Explorer. Uh, you're going to get yourself some light bars, which I have right here. Uh, you don't need this many. You only need one. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself your light bar, which you kind of have to ungroup all this. It is my personal kit. Uh, we're going to be using this simple light bar here. I'm going to ungroup it again, my fault. Actually, let's use a smaller one. So I like to duplicate it for a pack. Um, I don't know, it's up to you guys on your opinion. But So I have, I've had a lot of that Discord DMs lately on like what to do. I guess the video hasn't been really uh, detailed. So that's what I'm doing today in this video is making more a more detailed um version of it. So once you size your light bar and stuff, uh, which is what I'm doing now, um, you can go ahead and start to add everything and you know and get there. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how to add everything now. Go ahead and add it there, all right? You want to make sure it's scaled down. I always put mine on the door line here because that's how police cars are in real life on the door line. Uh, I like to scale it to make sure where this metal piece on the side here is reaching the other side. Like this is a little scale room. You want to bring that out just about so, just like that. Now, what you want to do now is you want to go into your car, go into here, go into your body. And right on body, you're going to hit this little uh, plus button. And you're going to click model. So once you add that model, you can either cl right click on it and hit rename. Or what I'm going to do is hit F2. You click on it and hit F2. And then you can rename it light bar. That's what you're going to name it, light bar. Um, so now what you're going to do now is in your light bar here, Click the plus sign, and you're going to type part. So I went ahead and grabbed that part, and you're going to want to move it into your light bar. Uh, you might have to click over here, and bring it into your light bar. So, uh, in this case, don't mind me, in this case, I'm going to move it down all the way to the end. Um, you can do whatever, but I like to start on one end. You gotta move this up here and move this down. Um, so it can really look bad if you don't um, mess do the right stuff. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on, you're gonna go to the material. It's gonna be the fourth thing down. Click on it and scroll down and hit neon. And then you can either leave, you can do it to whatever color you want. You're making it a staff car, make it green. You're making a police car, make it terracotta. Uh, but today we're actually going to be doing a medium blue car. So it's going to be blue, all blues. Um, so you can go ahead and duplicate these and just bring them all the way down the line. All the way until the end. If you, you, I'm not gonna be too, uh, like persistent on it because I'm not like making it for a client or anything, so it's gonna look a little shitty, but it's alright. So now, once you click on your light bar and you're gonna click on one part, you're gonna hold Shift and click on the last part. You want to make sure they're anchored. If they're not anchored, you'll get in. Um, you'll get into the game, and as you can see, the lights just fell off. You don't want that to happen. You click on all the parts and you anchor them. You have to anchor them. If you do not anchor them, the lights will just fall off and the ELS will not work. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to name them. For my light bar, I really like to name them W1, W2, don't do W3, W4, W5, W6, W7, W8. 
but you can do A, B, C, D, E, you can do the whole alphabet. It's just you have to number them right. You can do W1, W2, you can do A1, A2, B2, uh, A, B1, B2, K1, K2. If you, you get what I'm saying. So now in the light bar, you're going to click that plus button again, and you're going to type in script. So now what you're going to do is you're going to do the equals script.parent while true do wait. You're usually in, so for stage one, you'd put a, you'd put a zero in there, but we're not going to put a zero. Now you're going to do if main vet, no, you're going to do if the dot stage dot value equals equal equal one, then the dot w1 dot transparency equals one. Now, what I like to do, you can script everything out, but I'm not. So you, I'm going to go ahead and copy that to, I like it. Okay, it didn't copy the first time. Get in there. Now I go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you have eight lights here. So make sure you change these. So go all the way up to the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like so. Now that you got that, you're going to go ahead and put your wait time. So do wait 0 0.3. I like to do for stage one. I'm going to go here and make this a zero, and then grab this, copy this, and then hit enter, paste. Now you're going to change this to a one, and you're going to go all the way to the last one and change it to a zero. Now, you're going to hit enter, hit backspace, do else, if value equal equal to then blah, blah, blah. So for my stage two, I'm just going to do a simple pattern, just like so. Change that to two, though. Copy that. Come down here. Stage two. Now, just like so. Enter again. Else if main vet, not main vet, sorry. Main vet dot stage dot value equal three. Then paste that again. And you can just do whatever pattern you like. I mean, I'm going to do a little weird pattern uh, because why not? So it's a weird pattern. Uh, we can do zero, four is what I like to do for my stage three now. Copy, paste, change that to zero. Not nine. Hello. We want that to be zero. We want that to be one, uh, zero. Like so. Now come down here. Um, backspace. Else, boom, boom, change all these to one, just like so. Now you're going to come up here, hit apply edits. Wait until that goes away. Which could take a while, but we're just going to go anyways. Now, what you want to do is you're going to spawn in a car that already has all the stuff that you need in it. So, like here, I'm going to spawn in this, which I will leave the link in the description for. So you're going to come in here, and you're going to go into your car. You're going to go into your body, and you're going to go into the light bar. Now, once you go ahead and do that, you're going to grab the strobes, the stage, the remote event, in the middle. You're going to copy that, and you're going to go in back into your car, and you're going to paste that into the light bar. Once you do that, you can go ahead and move this down, bring this up. I like to put it right in the grill because that's where sirens are. Uh, what am I doing? Don't listen to me. <laughs> I put it in the wrong car. El Bozo. Make sure you put it in your car. Seems like a good idea. Uh, now you go ahead and delete that car. But another thing you gotta check for is the pickup and siren control, which this car already has. So now your car should work. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into game here. And make sure your car does not do that. I know exactly what happened here. So the first thing I forgot to do is take our light bar here and move it into your light bar. So you make sure you do that. If you don't do that, you're screwed. Um, yeah. So now if we go into our game here, uh, wait for our body to you know not be nude. Uh, don't wanna. Sorry, this video is 18 only. What? Okay, kidding. So you go into your car. Okay, that's 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 loud.
why is my volume all the way up? Uh, so as you can see, we got stage one now, stage two, and then your stage three. Uh, like I said, silence. To activate your lights, it is J. So for stage three, you hit J three times. Uh, R is your siren. Uh, T is your other siren. G is your other siren. And then F is your other one. Like so. And that is how you script ELS lighting in Roblox Studio. So I hope this did. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, make sure you like, subscribe. And my name is Brayden. Stay safe and take care.